founder of National Association of Government Approved Freight Forwarders, NAGAV, Dr. Boniface Anebunam, celebrated his 67th birthday in a grand style. Up, NAGAV! Worldwide! Worldwide! Worldwide. One family! Hey! Okay, this is what's called. The ceremony, which took place at Nagar Village, the headquarters of the association, hosted friends, family, colleagues, and well wishers of the celebrant. There were several musical performances from Nagar's ambassadors who entertained the dignitaries. Some dignitaries who spoke with Nigeria Maritime TV mized no words as they expressed how Dr. Boniface Anebunam has been of impact in their lives. Yes, I, without missing words, I must say that uh, he, he has been a, a mentor, he has been a liberator, he has been a, you know, a pace setter, he keeps setting the pace, uh, he's a pathfinder, he's the founder of Nagaf, and then when he came in the, in the industry, the whole place was in Shambo. You have to start, you know, kind of uh, developing a new, uh, you know, process of more modernizing the, uh, you know, the way in which businesses were, you know, handled in the ports. So in that process, now he came about, he came up with the, you know, the concept of uh, uh, bringing innovation. Dr. Nebunam is one man who had distinguished himself so well, you know, in life. Uh, for me. He has impacted so much into my life. As I used to tell people, I was once a journalist. I was once a journalist. I was once going about interviewing people. Today, I am a professional freight forwarder. You know, I'm a professional freight forwarder. And it is to the court, it is the courtesy of Dr. Andy Bonham. You understand? It is to his uh, 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 glory. I learned how to be courageous from him. Yes, and... Um First of all, when I came to the industry, you knew it, it doesn't matter to be neat, even though it's one cloth you have. Try and make yourself neat. At least anybody you see to do business with will know uh, you are capable to do. But when you look dirty, nobody will try to do any business with you. Secondly, he's a cargo mover. And he, thought, he gave me the spirit when I come. Self confidence makes you a man that you are. I should apply it in everything, everything I'm doing. So I've done that in my business. I thank God today. Because he will stay long to reap the fruit of his labor. I did say before that um, uh, my husband said he has come to bury sister, not to praise him. But here, we have always come not to bury an Abraham, but to praise him. Because the good that he has done we will always remain with him. They also have words of advice for the celebrant. Uh, yeah, what I will say to him is that uh, you see, you see uh, life has something to do with age. My advice is that um, uh, as he's getting older by the day, uh, he has to be playing down some active roles he used to play in the industry. You understand? He has to step, step, step down a little. And uh, again, um, I would like to ask him that at this point in time of his life, uh, he has to be having rest. He has to be having rest. That uh, he should always be thankful to God. He should give his life to God. There is no other thing according to the Bible that a man is supposed to be doing other than to serve God and then to keep his commandments. So my advice is that he, the remaining part of his life, which we know, God has made him already to you know, live the life of a tree that is uh, you know, somehow in, uh, in a long, a long life, uh, sort of that he should always keep close to his God. From all of us at Nigeria Maritime TV, happy birthday, doctor.